What's up guys, I'm Suman from Phonestein and today's video is an exciting one and today we are going to be building a PC which is an all gigabyte system and in fact this here is also an all AMD gaming PC and I am really happy to say that the build has turned out really good and a huge shout out to Challenger Computers for helping out with this PC build. Now for the best deals on PC parts and laptops and if you want your own custom PC to be built with the utmost precision and care then definitely go visit Challenger Computers if you are from Chennai. Now I'll have a link to their Instagram account in the description down below so make sure you go follow them and shower them with all your love. And if you have any queries regarding the pricing of PC parts or how much will it cost to build a PC definitely uh, direct message them and they are really quick to reply. So go ahead and follow Challenger Computers on Instagram. Now without wasting any precious time, let us begin. Now before starting this video, I just want to let you know that uh, I will be comparing my gaming current gaming PC with this PC and uh, the gaming review. So there's a dedicated gaming review. Uh, meant for a separate video so make sure you subscribe to see that but anyway this video I will definitely talk about the performance like how it is when compared to again like I said with my current PC which by the way is fast now starting off with the processor we are going with the brand new Ryzen 5 3600X now this here is the third generation Ryzen processor based on the Zen 2 architecture now this here is a 7 nanometer chip now that means it has better performance and better power efficiency. So the Ryzen 3600X is a 6 core 12 thread processor. Now it has a base clock of 3.8 GHz and a boost of 4.4 GHz. Now with such amazing base and boost clocks, I am sure gaming and video editing is going to be like really really smooth on this device. This supports PCIe Express 4.0 so that is the newer version of PCIe 3.0 now cooling this cpu is going to be the raid spiral cooler now this here is a cooler provided by amd themselves and the temperatures with this is not exactly like great it is okay decent now if you are in a really good air conditioned room then it is going to be really like okay but if you want the best performance and if you want to overclock a lot then i highly recommend you go with a liquid cooler or a really powerful air cooler Moving on for the motherboard, we are going to go with the Gigabyte X570 Gaming X. Now this here is an ATX motherboard. It supports PCIe 4 and that is thanks to the latest third generation Ryzen processors. It has 4 RAM slots and supports up to 128 gigs of RAM, of course DDR4. Now in terms of heat sinks, it has a, like a lot of them and there is even one heat sink with a fan but the heat sink with the fan is actually silent even when it's ramped up. Now these heat sinks are for like really good heat dissipations and they also add a really good style to the motherboard itself. Now there is plenty of IO and it also has an inbuilt IO shield. Now talking about the RAM, we have one from AORS. Now of course AORS is part of Gigabyte. So of course technically this here is also a Gigabyte component. So we have a 2 into 8 gig sticks. So that is a total of 16 gigs. And this is clocked at 3200 megahertz. Now this here is fast RAM. And of course Ryzen like really needs fast RAM. And this here is really, really suitable. But if you take a look at the video, you will see four RAM sticks. So this is not a quad channel uh, configuration, but the two other RAMs in this are dummy RAMs. Now this here is just for the aesthetic purpose. And uh, in fact, this here is a limited edition uh, uh, RAM kit. So not all ARS RGB RAM com comes with the extra two dummy kit. And I'm really happy the uh, two dummy sticks provided by ARS has made the PC look really good. And this RAM also supports XMP, so it is easier for you to overclock this. Now for the graphic card. Now since this here is an all AMD build, I have gone with the Gigabyte RX 580. It has 8 gigs of memory. This is like really useful for high-end 1080p gaming. Now this has uh, Gigabyte's WinForce 2X fan design, 
with 90mm fans and these fans really help the GPU to be under reasonable temperatures. Uh, I didn't see the temperatures of the GPU spiking up really high. Even when it is under heavy load, it is not too loud. Like a uh, few GPUs tend to like become very irritatingly loud but that is not the case here and uh, when you are indulged in the game you will definitely not notice it. Again this also supports uh, Gigabyte's RGB Fusion so you can change colors whenever you want or customize according to your wish. So the Gigabyte RX 580 is actually a really good uh, gaming graphic card especially for 1080p and 1440p gaming and best of all it doesn't cost a fortune like all the latest RTX series graphic cards out there. Now as for the storage, we are going to go again with the SSD plus HDD route and uh, for the SSD we have one from Gigabyte. Yes, Gigabyte does make SSDs and here we have uh, M2 SSD and uh, this here is a pretty fast SSD. Now it is not going to be crazy fast like a PCIe one but uh, it is definitely fast. Booting up speeds or launching programs which are installed on these SSDs is like really really quick now again we have a 1 tb hard disk here for all your basic storage and stuff like that now as for the power supply we have gone with the gigabyte g 570h now this here is a 750 watt modular power supply and uh, having modularity is actually great you can put in your custom cables it is also 80 plus gold certified so it has better power efficiency and is like really really safe to use and for the case we have gone yet with another gigabyte product so this here is the gigabyte c300 now this here has two versions one with an acrylic side panel and one with a tempered glass but here we went with the acrylic one to reduce costs a bit now this here is a really really spacious cabinet now since this is spacious you can also do liquid cooling if you choose to and it easily supports any aio liquid coolers it has great airflow and there is also a detachable dust filter now the PSU shroud is uh, not just a plain black piece of metal, it also has the ARS logo which uh, again is compatible with RGB Fusion and the front IO on the C300 is amazing. It has plenty of USB 3.0 ports, it also has a USB-C port along with a HDMI input and as I previously mentioned this also supports RGB Fusion. Now as I promised this here is an all gigabyte plus all AMD PC build and I'm really happy that the build turned out really really good but how is the performance? Now the PC that I have is equipped with the 6th generation Core i5 processor now this here is a quad core chipset it has 16 gigs of RAM, a GTX 1070 graphic card and the rest of the components like the storage and all is somewhat similar to the Gigabyte PC build now when it comes to graphic performance the GTX 1070 is of course going to destroy the RX 580 but when it comes to gaming and all uh, I think the RX 580 is a really good graphic card especially for 1080p gaming yes you might get a few more frames on the GTX 1070 especially in India with 144Hz yes the prices are reducing but still being costly I think uh, the RX 580 is going to be a much better option in terms of value now as for the CPU performance the Ryzen 5 3600X completely destroys the current PC that I own. Yes, the PC I have has an i5 processor but it is only a quad-core processor whereas the Ryzen 3600X is a 6-core beast. Now yes, even though it has higher cores, the pace and boost clock are also equally good on the Ryzen chipset and I think that contributes a lot to its performance. In fact, the entire Gigabyte system has twice more horsepower than the current system I'm using but it is much more cheaper than what I actually paid for the PC that I use personally. Now if you're building this exact system to uh, render videos or do some uh, art like creative work like photo editing, video editing or uh, animation stuff like that the Ryzen 5 3600X is definitely going to help you a lot and that coupled with the RX 580 you can definitely game as well as do your creative work with like really really ease and best of all it is not going to cost a whole lot of money so again a huge shout out to challenger computer for helping out with this video and again make sure you go check out their instagram handle and you follow them and show your love 
So for many such PC builds, make sure you subscribe to Phone Steen. So thank you for watching, and this here is Suman saying off once again. Catch you later.